Hello, I'm Geoffrey from The Studio. Usually, when you make a game, your logic comes from your actors. Uh, it can be uh, C++, C Sharp, uh, any script, uh, even JavaScript, or it can be Rust. <coughs> it can be uh, well, blueprints or any kind of visual scripting. Anyway, it always comes from the actors. Uh, except that uh, in Unreal Engine, uh, it can be driven by, I mean, at least uh, initiated by uh, Niagara emitters. Uh, here, in our example, we have this uh, little friend who's uh, a bit, uh, you know, a bit physically dri driven, not fully uh, animation. Uh, this character here. Uh, takes you see takes the hits oh 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 uh, yeah, I'm so, uh, ooh, 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 it hurts ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, let's uh, get out of here ooh. as you can see there are all these small kind of explosions that are created when there is an impact and even an, our character analyzes this as a damage so how does this work it's very simple I promise you and I'll show you right now. So, the logic is very simple, uh, if you, even if it's not fully logic, technically. Uh, in the emitter, you can take any emitter, it doesn't matter, J just generate particles. Here I use some, uh, I think it was uh, blowing particles here. Or confetti, uh, no, blowing I think. Basically you just add a collision, so add update collision, see. Yeah, it's, uh, I hit this green on blue and <laughs> you can't read. Anyway, uh, you add the, the, the uh, you update the collision, blah, 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 blah. I use uh, GPU def uh, buffer since it's on GPU. Uh, I would love to use this, but it's not yet available on uh, Vulkan. And since I'm, I'm on Linux, uh, I'll wait. And uh, wait and have a very re <laughs> rerun it. <laughs> Wait. Also, you need this export particle data to Blueprint. Oh, don't forget to in, uh, add the parameters. So, uh, the collision, when it happened, this or that. I don't know which one would be better, but it seems to be the same. Uh, in order to make it work, uh, you need something to call back the, the, the Blueprint. You need the the reference to the blueprint. So just create uh, a user parameter. So if you close it by accident, remember it's uh, it's here. Huh? You have all the, the windows in this menu. Uh, this blueprint you create to to mention to indicate this blueprint. You create an object object here. Object. Okay. Uh, of course, I don't need it. Uh, blueprints in this you choose in at callback see blueprint I mean I called it blueprint you can call it whatever whatever you want it's not important also one second between put to not kill the machine so the position particular position uh, the velocity if you're gonna use it uh, you can um, take the particle uh, velocity and uh, put it here see and uh, size, so uh, size you you can put uh, a value you you size it, or just take one of the values here. Here I'm, I'm gonna use the, the y since I know that's the the, the biggest one on my uh, particles. Remember to always put a blueprint. Uh, use the GPU allocation mode. Uh, do, do, do. I, you can use. It's very well explained. So just put your cursor here. You can use the 64, the original thing, or I like to use the per particle one. Do whatever feels uh, fine with you. In the blueprint that that is calling this, uh, so uh, of course uh, I should have started with this. I guess um, uh, you make the the, the blueprint. Uh, the easiest easiest way to do this is to just make a blueprint, an empty blueprint, just based on an actor. You you just create a very like 
see very uh, or click here with the basic actor and inside you drag and drop your, your emitter uh, my emitter is here clack drag and drop it here then you go to class settings very important go to class settings and add this this interface I will remove it I will break my link Niagara see particle callback handler it's very important because it gives you this this I will double click it double click clack it creates this event I need this event no 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 get away please for each see I create a for each loop break the particle data to have position and size could have take the velocity to could be useful see too uh damage equal so I, I spawn oh this you you don't care yeah, it's just an example huh? uh it created a function that will uh, do things so uh, here it creates um radial damage you with fall off in my case you you not force two I created a, a damage class damage class which is not necessary if you need to create a damage class you just right click uh blueprint damage you know you click here uh, all class uh, damage damage type poop and you can create all the damage type you you, you need uh, it's not uh okay. but it's not necessary so it will transmit damage you can spawn a decal you can uh, uh, spawn another emitter at the this location which is my explosion here i see i use the location you, you can do a lot of things it's, uh, it's up to you and uh, i'll show you now in the in the character uh, the character just takes the damage very uh, ordinary stuff uh create the um, timeline so the character uh, looks uh, more and more drunk uh, <laughs> and stunts you know <laughs> just the uh, blend weight well it's fun. I, I like doing this it's uh funny <laughs> So blah 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 creating the arrows to show I uh, hope you have a lot of fun with it. I don't uh, uh don't forget you can download uh, it's free after ten days you can download the um, the project uh, on my Patreon. There are a lot of uh, free stuff and uh, also like and subscribe please uh, <laughs> uh it's uh it's boring to always say that <laughs> So, I uh, hope you have fun and uh, see you soon. Eh? And uh, show me your creations too. <laughs> see you soon. Bye bye.